Okay guys, guess what I found? I dropped the extension down here. So I went down here and get it out. I found a spark plug laying around here. Look, it's a spark plug right there. <laughs> wow. So I found a spark plug laying around there. So I, I picked it out, look at that. So whoever worked in this car, I think Lex is the one who worked in this car only. They, they replaced a spark plug, maybe, and they forgot to tie it down. So there's an extra spark plug I found. So I think the Lexus, they replaced the spark plugs. And number three, they forgot to tie it down. They forgot to torque it down. So it, so it was loose. So that's why the check engine light came on. But anyway, I'm going to replace the new coil pack anyway. So I'm, I'm going to replace the new spark plugs. And with the extra <laughs> spark plug I found. Wow. Wow. So now I'm going to... Um, Tie down the uh, spark plugs. There is an um, extension. I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna tie down the spark plugs. And look, it's in there. So make it extend it. I'm gonna tie it down. So the whoever worked on this car before, they replaced the spark plugs by Lexus. They just hand tie it down. They forgot to torque it down. So that's what happened to this car here. Wow. So I'm gonna tie it down. Make sure you tie it. Make sure you tie it. Don't over torque it. Don't over tie it. Just tie it enough. That's it. So, no plugs, no coil pack right here. Mm -hmm. On this side. Okay, all right. After I. Uh, Torque it down, everything spark plug down. I tie the bolt, the nuts here. One, three, one, two, three bolts down. And after that, I put some silicone around it. As you can see, silicone, silicone, and silicone it. As you can see, so it's like a gasket maker. Like a gasket maker, you can buy them. Um, your local auto parts store. <clears throat> That's all I can do, you know. Put some silicone around it, and let it dry. Hopefully, it holds it in place. It looks good. So after um, that, you install one bolt, two bolt, and one nut here, and you just tie it down. It's a uh, ridiculous job to replace the spark plugs. I guess the um, dealers wins. So that's how they design. Yeah, so you cannot fix it by your own. <laughs> so uh, let's clean around it. Make sure it's clean around it. I'm going to reuse this gasket. I clean around. So I'm going to reinstall the intake manifold back in so you just reverse what you uh, removed so one two three four five six so make sure, make sure you tie them even make sure you tie them even let's say you talk this one this one they talk it even 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 don't over talk it okay just talk enough tight enough so uh, I ran out of uh, a carburetor cleaner, so I use a brake cleaner to clean the total body. Just clean them out, make sure they're clean before you put back together. I installed a uh, total body, but be before that I clean out real good. I service a total body, they are all clean right now. Yep. Before I install it, I just clean up the total body. That helps a lot. That helps you in the morning when you crank it up or at the red light, your car sit in the idle. It's smooth like it's supposed to. 
So now, uh, install the, um, the bolt number 12. And use a wrench, tie it down. Number 12, wrench, tie it down. So, install the air box. Make sure you put the vacuum lines back together. Vacuum lines, vacuum lines. This line, that, this one, PCV holes, this one, back together. Tie it down. I'm gonna tie this thing down, tie this thing down, and make sure you got you plug this thing back in. That's the air box. So, and the back all finished. Now I'm gonna replace new spark plugs on the front. Um, like I said, I think Lexus they replaced the spark plugs before. See, they, they put some silicone around it. As you can see, they put some silicone around it to hold it. But anyway, I'm gonna replace it, the new spark plugs anyway. So, what I think is they did not torque down the number three spark plugs. They just use a hand tied it because when I put a new spark socket in there, I I barely move it and, and the spark plugs already broke loose. Wow. So that is uh, the problem was, I think. So number three coil pack, is this, it should be still good. Like I said, the engine light came on and the engine light came off and it came back on and it go back and forth like that. So I got everything back together. Brand new plugs on the front. I'm gonna use a gasket maker. I'm gonna put silicone around the plug here. And uh, right here, so it, it can hold it together because they are broken. As you can see, the clip are broken. That's very usual for those car. They get hot, get cold, they, they get fragile. It's a break easy. Some silicone around it, as you can see. See, don't put on um, on the connector. Put it outside, and then just like that. So after you install it, put some here, right there. Yep, just like that. Yep, let it dry. So you do the same thing. All the connectors, the same thing. Put silicone around it. So I have finished install. Renault spark plugs and one coil pack number three. I think number three is still good. That, like I told you guys, the Lexus or whoever worked on it the last time, they didn't tie it down. They just hand tie it and they forgot to tie it down. They put a spark plug after they installed it and they installed a coil, whatever. But anyway, here's what I did. See, I put some silicone around it, like I told, like I showed you guys. Yep. Now, I check the project. I'm not gonna install all this stuff back in yet. I'm gonna crank it up. I wanna see the I wanna see the car runs and make sure there's no check engine light. Come on. Let's get to it. As right now, there is no check engine light. Yep, no check engine light.
It runs smooth now. So you have to put install back the, the tray with all the bolts what you took out you just reverse it all the bolts 14 millimeters and then 10 millimeters okay after you install the tray make sure you tie down all the bolts tie it down for both sides now you install the um, this thing here is a wiper blade Modal bracket. Just be gentle, you know. Just take your time. Be be gentle, you know what I mean. Just be easy, okay. Make sure don't damage the glass. So after I install the um, the wiper blade bracket, now I install the uh, the plastic piece back in there. slowly just slowly work on it so make sure all the clip here go underneath of the glass like that okay they go the clip and go underneath okay make sure they all line up all line up make sure the clip go underneath of the, um, the glass so I can lock in and this tab here, go back to the clip, the, the hole here. Make sure they all line up. That's how you install back this piece here. That's finished, technically. There is a, um, a groove right here. See the groove? Make sure they all line up in the glass, between the glass. That's it, that, just like that. So make sure you install the connector back in. Yep. This thing gotta come in like this. Make sure they are in. There you go. And the last thing you install this piece here. Make sure they are locked in. And just slide them in, lock them in. Like this. Make sure you light them in. Flush. Just work around it. You just have to um, slide in. See? Install this bolt here. All right, make sure you tie this bolt down. One, two, three. That's a wiper blade. Make sure they are tight. And the last thing is install the engine cover. Install engine cover. Like that. This piece too. So that's how you replaced the spark plugs or the ignition coils for Lexus, Toyotas, Highlander, Camry V6, Sienna, ES350, RX350 or 3.5 liters engines. I hope you guys like this video. This is my best knowledge to do step by step. 
And once again, this is uh, Ken Eng Nguyen from Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you for watching for this video. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next video. Once again, thank you for watching.